Hello and welcome to another Brett Plays Flight and Review and today I'm actually going to be reviewing a PBY-5A so either the Canso if you know it by that or the Catalina uh, made by Consolidated so this is a freeware aircraft that has been uh, made by the guys over at French VFR or is actually hosted by them and uh, I will put have a link in the description. This is actually a work in progress, so I'm going to be reviewing uh, version 0 0.8.0, .0, so it's come along quite a long way. There are now 10 repaints. Uh, this is almost ready for uh, full release. It does say sometime in uh, August, which is where I'm making this. and. Uh, I'll also put in, uh, there are 10 liveries, put the liveries here now, and uh, in the different variants, the ones without the windows on the side, uh, they don't have an interior uh, the same as the one with the windows, so no chairs and no um, rear windows beds. So consolidated uh, PBY Catalina seaplane is a military designed in the 1930s by the US uh, is widely used in the Second World War by the US Army and other allies performing various missions. So the uh, PB stands for patrol boat, Y is designated for the consolidated, uh, who was the constructor. It's also named by the British as the Catalina in reference to Santa Catalina Island. Uh, all aircraft was also manufactured in Canada and designated them uh, Canso. So originally this particular model was made for uh, X-Plane way back at the beginning and then got uh, the developer uh, Oliver Favory, I think that's the right way to pronounce it uh, asked for the flight sim community to get out and make it available for other uh, flight sims so it's been into 2004 uh, FS 2004 and all the way up through now to Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 version so without further ado, let's get inside and have a look at what we've got. Very nice. Somebody's obviously a uh, Lilo fan. Uh, kind of looks like a um, figure from Disney Infinity. Uh, now, I'm liking the looks of this. I will go through the whole aircraft. Uh, I do have a way to get in the back there, so it is possible. But... Uh, let's open a window. We do have a blurred window here. Open that. Nice and clean. Love that. Decent effect on it. Uh, we can open the roof as well. Can do the same with the passenger side. And there's also up underneath here is release for the co pilot. Very nice. Okay, there's the fuel selector. Do you know what? Let's. I think this is the one thing I have been looking for. Volleyball mouse does that, and I went one too far. I'm going to actually open up fuel to both. All right, cool. Then I might be able to... Canopy first officer handle. Huh. I can actually open and close without having to do that squat down okay oh, i think that's actually very good uh canopy commander handle that's up here all right we'll leave our window open for now we do have our props right there uh actually i think that's the one thing i couldn't get this going on my first try let's get back to views and when i say getting it going you can manually start this or you can press the auto start you actually have to turn it off so different views we have ballast for the pilot nothing else looking right so that's actually looking right let go it goes back looking right we have our uh well basically all the buttons and stuff but this is on the control arm looking left we are inside the cabin looking out the window and back again going up takes you to the middle view and that's default all right we can press spacebar and go higher not very 
Okay, some of the other buttons we have up here, which I'm not going to use today, is your left prop and right prop feather. We do have fire warning test. Lights are good. Can't open these. Compass is on uh, bungee cables to keep it nice and taut, I guess. All right, we can use this one though. Uh, park brake for the uh, plane is on the co pilot side. Let's make sure that my guys finish fueling. What you're doing, I guess, he's got a pump that's running there. They need someone down the bottom there to uh, turn the handle to pump that. What else have we got? Fire extinguisher, chocks, ladders. Very nice. Before I will start this, what I will do is show uh, the, the ability to move around. I've made some custom uh, views, so. All right, there we go. We do have another view. Uh, so. When we look left, we're in here. When we look right, we go in the middle. Down, down, there we go. Okay, oh, these are my custom views that I made. Okay, good, I can go through them. Um, the way to do that is to uh, use the actual Microsoft Flight Sim way of choosing where you want it to see. Now, this particular one, I can open the door in the uh, air rescue ones or the uh, water bombers, the door goes up. I think that's actually well modeled. Continue through the aircraft. I do have an outside view set. That's the standard view from behind. Uh, so all those others are my custom. Yes, okay. Back through door. Back of the plane, all right. So we can drop the stairs. If you have a look outside, very nice. We can also open and close this particular door. Up that, close that. Go inside the aircraft, have a look around. Continue going through. We can actually close the door to the cockpit as well. And we're going back through my set of uh, previews. Also notice though, they've got a Sun newspaper here, which has uh, Charles and Diana. Oop, I can't look down. There we go, Charles and Diana are on it. I'm guessing this is supposed to be the 80s. Uh, Secret of the Royal Lovers. Uh -huh. All right, back to where we can start this. Okay, so on, let's have a look, on this plaque here. Note, manifold pressure before starting engine, fuel boost pump on, motor engine over with direct drive starter, ensure that the propeller is turning smoothly. If any sign of hesitation or stoppage, disengage the starter, turn off boost pump and investigate. After 12 blades, turn magneto switch to both and continue turning the engine. Prime as required when the engine starts firing, ease the mixture control out of the ICO to auto rich. Prime as required, run engine at approximately 800 RPM. If no oil pressure within 15 seconds, stop engine with ICO and investigate. Uh, switch boost pump off and warm engine up to approximately 800 RPM. When the engine is running smoothly, repeat starting process with the other engine. Nice. I haven't successfully done this yet. So let's give this a try. What we have here is magnetos for the left, magnetos for the right, up for the right is off, down for the left is off. We also have an ignition button. We will put our ignition on. We will, hang on, we need the, down here, AC is, AC master, battery isolation is on. Why am I avionics already on? Hmm, they shouldn't actually be able to be on. And we'll put our APU on and prime as we need. So we can left. Now we use the rollerball one time. We should be turning. Don't know how many times they said 12, didn't it? Yeah. It's 
start on. Okay, I failed to do it. I think I need that all the way up. And then prime as needed. Ah, oh, you go outside and it stops. Right, so haven't had much luck with this. Um, I believe it probably does work and um, I'm just terrible at it. Um, we'll try one more time. Pressure is up. No, we've lost it. Still hear it. Trying. I can hear it trying. Can I see it? No. See, it's not actually running. Don't know. Still. Well, look at that. Turn around, didn't it? So I haven't worked out how to start it properly. Uh, maybe you guys can, but if you press this button here to auto start facilities um, off, if I do that and then I guess control E or I can use my controls on my um, flight stick, I should, let's try this. There we go. Let's start the right one. I right, can change the fuel back to off. Alright, so we can actually do that. And then you have the ability to start this and do a run. Alright, now our second engine is up and running. Uh, let's make sure this is not too loud for you guys. I'm going to turn that down because uh, it can actually come up quite loud. Haven't had much luck starting it myself, I haven't tried enough. Now, where's my views? There we go. Is that default? Alright, zoom out. I need to be a little higher. Alright, engine is running quite loud. Let's close the window. Alright, cool. Now, what we'll do is we'll take this for a quick fly. We will land in the water, probably at Rose Bay here at Sydney, which is a... Uh, Uh, I guess a uh, water landing area where these originally uh, would have flown in and out of these and larger boats, uh, boat planes as well. So let's get that park brake off. There we go, we are already rolling. Don't see any pilots in this yet, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, I also don't have my lights on. I'll notice that uh, when you hit the brakes. Uh, use a little rock. Let's try this again. All right, so it bounces on that front suspension. Let's put the park brake back on. Thank you. And do a quick run of the. How do I do that? Not that one. Okay, that one, that one there. Lights. So we have our taxi lights. We have landing nav, a beacon, strobe. We even have nose gear. We'll put our pito on. We have wiper position, so you can, we're in parking position, yep, yeah. so you can have these, wait, was that, yeah, there we go, so they, they look very white on this particular one, but different liveries have different uh, colours, keep scrolling in there, are we back in, yeah, we stopped it, alright, uh, let's get back over to there, Bit hard to see there. Hmm. What we'll do is we'll actually go there. Park brakes off. I'm moving forward. Now, I, one thing I do not particularly like, and I might have to change myself, is I look left, I get that. I look. So I go, that's left. I look right, and I get the centre thing. Um, it doesn't help me much, but I 
do have some uh, already custom buttons that I can just press and do this, say something like that. Which is pretty cool. Now on the uh, version that has the let's do some left and right. On the version that has the uh, air tanker, so firefighting air tanker version, uh, you have extra mounting points up here. So they are actually different models uh, for different roles. So the ones without the windows do have a slightly different uh, bodies on them, I guess you could say, different fuselage. They don't have the window, uh, they don't have a rear door that it can open, and the side door doesn't open out sideways, it opens up uh, top, and they have extra uh, mounting points on top, maybe for stability or maybe for, I'm not sure, putting the water in uh, quickly. Alright, we don't have flaps on this, from what I can tell, I don't think these came with flaps. Uh, we do have the pontoons on the end of the wings. We will put those down when we get in the water. Run this up and get it going. It's probably not the best runway in live weather, which is what I'm using uh, at the moment here at Sydney because I am taking a cross, cross wind uh, takeoff, but I always do this. More challenging for myself. All right, up. It's actually very easy to get this to uh, take off. Gear up. Tucks away very nicely. Slow animation. Very nice. All right, we'll go and uh, park ourselves over on Rose Bay, which is over there somewhere. Certainly got a happening here. I might just trim it down. We're also flat out. We probably should actually pull that back. I don't know if it's got damage model uh, for engines. So far I haven't uh, blown it up but I've also not gone any further than what you just saw there. Full takeoff. These are back. Keep the manifold pressure out of the yellow and we seem to be good. We can use our trim and I can almost take my hands off the controls now. There's no older pilot from what I can tell, as in it doesn't seem to hold altitude or direction. You do have nav, you do have the ability to uh, use the map here on your devices. Uh, I have no flight plan on here anyway. Uh, we can also open up our cowling flaps. You know, either 100% or 50%. We've got our generators on and we also have carb heat if need be. Uh, so you can gradually put those up and down. Uh, what else are we missing? Seatbelt light. Yep, everybody, seatbelt. Alright, we have really climbed here. So Rose Bay is uh, just down there above my plane. What we'll do is we'll go around and let's try and land from. Those shipping container ships are. I think you're actually meant to come in from over at Manly Beach, that direction, really, towards that island. We'll give this a try. Alright, slowing it down. I did have my prop pitch all the way down there, but it was. No, I didn't, it was automatically up. still a work in progress. Great job. I have a feeling I'm descending too quickly, about 2,000 feet. Alright, so we will go away to the right. See what it's like to land in the water. 
water and I'll do a quick land turnaround and take off. Let's see if we can uh, slow this down enough to make it successful. Water landing. actually a uh, water airport here uh, Rose Bay now after the Australian update. Alright, let's see if we can do an outside view landing. Flare and uh, should be able to solve some down. Ooh, nice and smooth. Uh, Prop pitch is all the way down. I'm not going to turn the aircraft off. The only steering we have is with the rudder or if you have your engines uh, left and right. So you've got power on one engine or the other. I don't think there's a water rudder, so let's just test. Okay, when I press water rudder, either that or it's slowed right down. Not too bad. I'll pitch it up. Let's do a turn around and take off. Can't get over to that uh, marina dock there anyway. There seems to be a uh, ferry boat in the way. All right, let's take back off this way. Oh, we left our landing lights on the whole time anyway. So this is where you could open those side doors. It'd be about water level. Pretty cool. Uh, watch out for a yacht. We will give ourselves a much room as possible point towards this part of the harbour which is a little hard to steer water rudder off I don't know that even makes a difference full power now yep now it's still trying to push me to the left a little Still grabbing some of that water, and we're up. Very nice. I don't know if there's a hot key for the uh, floats. It would be nice. You could actually do it from outside, but uh, always come back out and have a look like this. Freeware. This is freeware. I mean, if they keep going, they could potentially. Uh, Look at bringing it to the sim, even if it's cheap, just to get it onto Xbox if they set it up correctly. But the legality of that is that uh, who gets the rights to it because it has been a uh, work in progress thing over many years. Who's developed what? Would be nice to see it. Uh, so if you're going to ask me, is it coming to Xbox? Uh, my answer at the moment would be no. Not the way Xbox I've seen. It seems to be that they don't add any freeware stuff and I think potentially the uh, there could be a rights issue with this. The windows are very blurry in this train. Doesn't seem to make much of a difference to turn off which light have we got here. Fly back over to Sydney Airport, uh, we'll land it on land, I want to show you what it's like. If you've made it this far, thank you very much, like, comment, subscribe, all the rest. Uh, go get the um, file from the link in the description. I'd also like to say thank you to Don Finucci, who has uh, made lots of aircraft fly in Microsoft Flight Sim. For pointing this out during one of my streams and then linking me with the, uh, the final file. Thank you very much. I think I might end up having to use this a few more times. This is quality stuff. Give myself a little higher in the seat. Window is open. 
going for that runway, we might want to slow down. Lovely sound. Hopefully it's not too loud. For you guys watching this, a bit hard the volume. But I noticed that this aircraft does seem to be quite loud. Some of the things that uh, the developer also said that they are working on better textures. So these are just, um, uh, the final texture and all mapping and textures will be reworked, uh, PBR and paint kit. Improvement on the existing XML code because there are some bugs still. Uh, the management of the internal cockpit lights and buttons already um, animated but want to rewrite the code uh, in the presence of the final textures uh, and it might one pass. Right. You might want to put some gear down. So we won't use that. Now that white windscreen wiper is annoying there. I've worked out how to move it over. I don't think it does. Uh, but it is different colours on different versions of this aircraft. Make it as soft as possible. It does make some screeching sound when it touches. And it's just the nose. Or outside. No. Alright. Brakes, thank you. Do an illegal turn. Very nice aircraft and better textures are coming along the way as well. Uh, I think we'll make this even more enjoyable. But for what I've got already, great. Oh yeah, somebody turned off his landing lights, didn't he? Oh well. We're down now. Nobody else is here. Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, all the rest. If you made it this far, you must have liked what you saw. Uh, press that like button. Comment down below if you know that I've missed anything. Uh, if there's something else on here that I may have forgotten to show. I tried to go through pretty much everything I remembered. Uh, do you notice that when we hit the full brakes, yeah, we know those go down. Hit just the one brake, there we go, using our left brake. Alright, so let's bring it up towards the stopping zone here. That'll do. You know, wait, my foot is on the brake. It's very slowly animated. Now I can turn this off just by hitting the ignition button. If I turn off the ignition, it's going to uh, kill the motors anyway. Very nice. You can turn off everything else that you need to. Magnetos. Wait, how much magnetos back on? Uh, that's the PBY-5A from French dash VFR. Uh, basically what is it dot free dot fr um, I will have the link in the description uh, go check it out this is miss pickup version textures work really well Actually, I didn't go in and show you how well they worked or how they come up but you can see that there thanks for watching cheers